This one is Uji Hojisha. Hello everybody! Welcome to Japan. I'm in Osaka right now. Welcome to my tiny apartment Airbnb where I'm staying. I'm not going to speak too loudly so I hope you can hear me but I'm afraid that my neighbors might hear me. I'm not sure how thin these walls are so far. I haven't really heard anybody so I might be safe. So welcome to my very first main main style video here in Japan. Whoa! Would you like my backdrop? It's actually my bed and my legs are like folded under me and there's my suitcase and everything like I could almost touch the walls. I'm not kidding you. This is a tiny Japanese style apartment but I thought that since I'm feeling kind of pickish and I want to eat something sweet, I will try different flavors of Kit Kat bars from Japan. So, in Japan, they have a very peculiar flavors of Kit Kats. So I have got them. I went a little crazy, by the way. I bought every flavor I could find. I just, you know, it makes good souvenirs and it makes good videos. And I just, I really wanted to try them. And I couldn't find boxes smaller than these ones. So. I just bought them all and they have a very peculiar flavors and it's only available in Japan and I noticed when buying them they have little marks here little uh, not really stickers but you know what I mean where it's in like Kyoto edition so it seems that it's different um, do they call it, is it prefectures? So this one is Tokyo edition and this one is rum raisin, this one is Uji Matcha. So yeah, I bought a ton of these boxes and I'm gonna give them away as souvenirs for my friends and my family but I'm also going to munch on these myself. Anyway, Kit Kat is a big deal here and there are many flavors. Let me tell you what I got but also I just wanted to say these are the flavors I could find so far. I might find some other flavors from here on out so if I suddenly change outfit through this video or hairstyle or makeup you know it's because I found some extra flavors and I filmed uh, and I filmed more footage post this video <laughs> this made absolutely no sense forgive me guys I might have jet lag still I'm not sure anyway flavors so this one is the Kyoto edition Uji Matcha I got rum raisin Ky uh, it's Kyoto no Tokyo edition rum raisin flavor. Look at this packaging by the way, I find them remarkable. Now this one is Benny Imo and it says purple sweet potato and it's Okinawa Kyushu edition. Look at this, isn't it amazing? So pretty! I have no clue what Benny Imo tastes like but I'm looking forward to trying it. Now this one I was hesitate I was hesitant to buy because it's just plain strawberry, though it does say Kyushu edition. I was considering not buying this because it's just strawberry flavor, but then I saw it just staying there by itself and I didn't have it in my collection, so I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna get it. And it might actually be delicious. Who knows? Battery light is flashing. Awesome. This one is Uji Hojisha. This one is Uji Hojisha, which is Hojisha Roasted Tea Flavor Kyoto Edition. Another one from Kyoto. Ooh, I hate the texture of this one. It's... I don't know how to describe it. Uh, Yoko... Jeez, they have to stop making that noise. It looks like someone's throwing up. Can you actually hear them? This is... This one, Yokohama Edition Strawberry Cheesecake Flavor. Well, more you know, western flavors, but I still want to try this. I mean, strawberry cheesecake, yum. Mountain piling up. Now this one I really wanted to try. So, Shizuoka Kanto edition. Kamaru ya honten wasabi. Wasabi flavor. Mm. Yeah, excited to try this one. Oh, also this weird texture that I hate. <laughs> Tokai Hokuriku edition Azuki Sand Aji Red bean sandwich flavor Now I've had a lot of Azuki flavored treats while I'm here um, Excited to know what it tastes like in a Kit Kat bar But so far I've liked it, just the texture that is a bit weird And finally uh, from Hiroshima 
Kie for Hiroshima. Momiji manju aji. Momiji manju flavor. This is what it looks like. Uh, I thought momiji was a maple tree, so maybe this is maple flavor? I have no clue what momiji manju is. Gonna change the battery because it's flashing, obviously. And then we're gonna get to, to tasting. See you in a sec. Damn it, I ripped it. <laughs> Let me look at this. So let's have a Kit Kat. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like anything particular. It just says Kit Kat on it. Okay. Well, this is very peculiar. Well, at least it's not like, like eating wasabi and having it burn through my nose. I'm not sure. It's as if I had chocolate and like it's been laying around an open pack of wasabi of something and it just absorbed the flavor. It's like almost like you know when you put something in the fridge and it's open and then you eat it and it tastes the fridge? That's what it tastes like. It tastes like it's been next to something that it shouldn't have been next to. So wasabi flavor. Mm, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 5. It's not disgusting, it's just really weird. This one is the momiji one, right? Momiji manju. Why won't you open for me? Ta -da. Oh, these have a very strong flavor. Uh, these have a very strong smell. This smells of tree. Okay. They've got the little um, momiji leaves on the chocolate. I don't think I'll be able to show you properly. Okay, it's melting in my hands. Sorry guys, but it's got little leaves on the top. This smells so weird, guys. What is this? I don't get it. I need to know. What the hell is this? Momiji manju. Momiji manju is a type of manju. Okay, what is manju? Manju. Come on, connect. Oh, it's popular tra traditional Japanese confection. Okay, 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 okay. It just tastes really weird. Like almost like this slight bitterness. Uh, maybe when I go to Miyajima towards the end of the month, I'll actually try a real momiji manju and it'll be like, oh, this is what it's supposed to taste like. But in the Kit Kat, it just tasted really weird. I can kind of taste the azuki as an aftertaste. Mm. Let's have a strawberry cheesecake now, which I hope is a safe flavor. <laughs> strawberry cheesecake. Itadakimasu. Taste of fake strawberry. I don't know where the cheesecake is. But it's good. I'll have to compare it to the, to the actual strawberry one because not sure I get strawberry cheesecake. Definitely get this really strong fake strawberry taste. It's good. You know what this reminds me of? I have a strawberry shower gel at home. <laughs> If I tasted it, I'm sure it kind of tastes like that. I'm gonna have the tea one next. Ooh, that smells strongly of tea. Definitely. Itadakimasu. I actually really like that one. Mm. I'm really enjoying tea. Like the really strong bitter tea. Well, it's probably not bitter to Japanese people. <laughs> But compared to what I've had in Europe, it's slightly better. Mm. This is good. Mm. Mm. Save it so far. After the Momiji Manju, I'm a bit scared of trying anything with azuki beans inside. But here goes. This is the azuki sand aji. I guess sand is sandwich, not actual sand. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it has that same bitter smell as the other one. 
except with dark chocolate this time so it might actually be the same flavoring but the other one had white chocolate this one is milk Ugh. here goes I can't get over this one I'm really trying to like it It just tastes really weird I just noticed this is an actual sandwich I thought they were like little cakes But this is actual toast What? I hope I can see someone else eat these Like from home And tell me if it's me Or just It tastes like It shouldn't be edible It just like if you licked, if you ate a leaf or something <laughs> Okay, let's try the strawberry one, see where, if it's that different from the strawberry cheesecake Okay mm, At least it's pink It smells the same as the other one The strawberry taste is stronger, but just as artificial Mm. I'm thinking that in the strawberry cheesecake one there may have been like yogurt or something to give it a slight, a slight um, acidity taste, you know like cheesecake this one doesn't have that I'm eating so much chocolate here sitting on the floor by myself in Osaka <laughs> getting close to the end this is another unusual one which I'm a little anxious for especially after these two red bean paste ones and this one is a purple sweet potato <coughs> I'm kind of getting like you know when you eat too much sweet stuff yeah here goes it's gonna be bright purple ah pastel purple hang on there we go just says Kit Kat yeah the only one that had a picture on it was the Momiji one it kind of smells like tea What the? I can't wrap my head around this one either At least it doesn't taste bad, it just tastes... Mm. I think it's because it's a whole new unknown flavor That my brain it's not like comprehending, it's like, what is this? What are you eating? What is this flavor? It doesn't taste like anything we know. It tastes like rose. Like the flower. Rose. I think that's where I'm getting the tea vibe because it tastes like rose. Next one is Kit Kat Rum Raisin. I like the fact that it's like, sorry, blue, blue packaging. Ooh, I'm getting definitely I'm getting rum. I'm getting a rum raisin just for the smell. Mmm. 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 This is good. How do they do that? I've been kind of like, oh, this is so artificial for the other one, but mm, this is good. Okay, last one. I think I already know what this one tastes like because I've had the green tea one. So, let's see if much has any different. That was a very strong French accent. Any different? <laughs> green? Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't make crumbs on the carpet. <laughs> Well, I don't have the green tea to compare right here, but I would say it's pretty similar. Maybe this one has a stronger tea flavor, but I really like it. <laughs> Matcha, I like. And now I'm realizing that I forgot to give marks for everything. So matcha, I'm gonna give it five out of five. Let's give it a four, maybe four and a half. Four, let's give it a four. And I get this one as a three, because it wasn't bad. Three and a half. One and a half. Tea. Five out of five. Loved it. I'm giving this a three. <laughs> three out of five. 
this one, I'm giving a one. And oh, wasabi, I didn't mind it. Two and a half out of five for this. Hey, sorry about the angle, but this place, I just came home. Oh my God, don't move. After, frick, <laughs> can you see how cramped I am? Uh, I've got my open suitcase, a table, a sofa, a bed. I'm like surrounded by furniture and by a bunch of mess. I literally just came back and I just, I just want to hop in the shower. Uh, but I've been shopping around and I found the, oh my God, no. I'm going to have to go super fast because my last battery is flashing. I found the Kit Kat Sake. Enough said. Let's go. Let's open this. I, I have no other battery after this and I just want to get this done. No, open. Oh, okay. Oh, why is it presented like this? This is not as elegant as the other ones. Just saying. Okay, quick. Smells of sake. Okay, let's go. Hey ho. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are a revelation. Five out of five. Mmm. Mmm. Probably one of my faves. Hey guys. <laughs> I found some more flavors. I went to Don Quixote in Hiroshima today and I found some more Kit Kat flavors. Mainly, it's this one. That Halloween packaging and I was really hoping for it to be pumpkin but I read this and it says Kiarameru Purin so it's caramel pudding and while I was there I also grabbed the traditional green tea one so I can compare it with the matcha and the dark chocolate one just so I can put everything together and when I get home I can make little like packages for my family and stuff I mean it's Kit Kat, right? It'll be nice for my friends and family to... Ew. I tried this new mascara today and it, my lashes feel fake. That's how coated they are. So I'm gonna try these new favorite flavors real quick and put them in my bag of... My bag of Kit Kats. Why are these little characters doing weird signs? Ooh. That's nice. Taste of caramel. I like it. Mmm. This is an 8 out of 10. I like them. Tastes good. I'm gonna have a green tea one and compare it with the green tea. Let me see if I can find one. There we go. We have the matcha and the green tea. Kitto katto. It's actually different. It's less strong. So there is a different flavor. Okay, real quick because I mean this is just a dark chocolate Kit Kat. Let's just do this. Dark chocolate Kit Kat. It feels nice to have something simple. Back to you, past Iku. This is future me. Yeah, got some more Kit Kats. I got this one, which is uh, Shin Shinshu Apple. Then I got smaller formats. Um, this is melon, Hokkaido melon, and that sounds absolutely extraordinary and very rich and very sugary. Kyoho grape. Now I've had grape flavored drinks um, in Japan. I did not enjoy the flavor very much, so. Um, medium excited for this one. This one is Sakura Matcha. I haven't had anything Sakura flavored. I went to Japan in October, so not at all the right the right time. I already prepared them easier that way. <laughs> Kyoho Grape. Purple. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. Mm -mm. I found that grape flavors kind of taste like plastic or mm, styrofoam okay let's go for apple because i really like this packaging it's really cute <laughs> okay this is milk chocolate haven't seen many of these 
Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I like the combination of um, the really chocolatey flavor and the apple flavor. It's different from most of the ones I've tried usually. There's like white chocolate that gets completely mm, dominated by the added flavor. Whereas this, you have a distinct chocolate and apple flavor. So it's really nice. We got to grade these. So the grape one, didn't like it at all. I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10. Apple, I'm gonna give it a 7. Alright, turn. Mm. Yeah, 7 is fine. I like 7.5, but let's do 7. Okay, I'm gonna keep the Sakura one for last because I think this is the one I'm most excited for. Let's go for Hokkaido Melon. Ooh, smells melony. Mmm, it's pretty good. Definite melon flavor. Mm. I like this, this is nice. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half and put the apple at eight, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. Last but not least, it's the fine. Oh, this one is swole. There's, there's air in there, is that bad? I'm gonna die. Sakura matcha flavor Kit Kats. I'm getting matcha. Definitely tastes strongly of matcha. And there's like this tiny hint of something, which I guess is sakura. I still can't tell what sakura flavor is from this. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a um, 9 out of 10. I really like this one. So, back to you past Iku. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which flavor you would like to try out of this the ones I have here, or maybe if you heard of a particular kind of uh, Kit Kat flavor, let me know down in the comments below. I'm getting a super sugar high right now, I can't think, I, my, my mind is whirring, so I'm gonna go chill out and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, I'm filming vlogs here like all the time, every day, posting photos and stories as much as I can, so I hope you enjoyed that while I'm here and hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm trying to post daily. I'm talking to my future self right now. Okay, I need to go chill out now and drink a lot of water because I'm getting like huge rush. <laughs> see you guys soon. Don't forget that I L word you all. See you soon in the video very soon. This makes no sense. Kitto kato kisto. Yeah.